Starship has always been a highlight for space enthusiasts like us to watch and follow, but there's another group with a keen interest in this massive spacecraft, the United States military. Recently, this interest in SpaceX has intensified, revealing a growing appetite for the advantages offered not just by Starship, but every aspect of the world's most rapidly advancing space company. How is the U.S. military leveraging SpaceX, and why is this agency so eager to acquire Starship's capabilities? Let's get into it in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The U.S. military's budget for space missions has steadily increased in recent years, reflecting the growing importance of space in national security and defense. In 2022, the Department of Defense allocated approximately $24 billion to space-related programs, with a big portion directed towards satellite deployments and secure comm systems. This budget continued to go up in 2023, reaching $26 billion, and by 2024, it's projected to hit approximately $30 billion. As a result, the military's focus on expanding its space capabilities has led to an increased reliance on private contractors to handle its launch needs, with SpaceX emerging as the dominant provider. Following the development momentum, SpaceX has rapidly become the primary launch provider for the U.S. military, capturing an impressive share of the market. The year before last, SpaceX was responsible for approximately 70% of the military's launch missions. Last year, that share increased to 80%, and this year, SpaceX is to handle about 90% of all military space launches. This underscores the military's trust in SpaceX's capabilities, particularly its cost-effective and reliable launch systems. All of these achievements are thanks to SpaceX's dependable space products. Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets have proven to be highly reliable, with the capability to deliver payloads to orbit at only a fraction of the cost of traditional providers. SpaceX's innovation and reusability, allowing rockets to be used multiple times, has reduced launch costs while keeping up with the high performance. This reliability, combined with SpaceX's competitive pricing, has made the company the top choice for the U.S. military, solidifying its role as a critical player in national defense and space ops. Moreover, SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavies have spurred all the competition in the industry to aim for new capabilities to optimize their access to space, and that's heating up the launch market. However, SpaceX and Elon's developments appear to have reached a new level that few companies can keep up with. The competition is even wary, especially as the Starship achieves its initial testing success. Given Starship's unique abilities, the Department of Defense is considering either taking full control of the program or making a big investment to integrate the rocket into its defense strategy. Starship's advanced features, like rapid global transportation and enormous payload capacity and full reusability, make it a very attractive asset for a ton of different military applications. One of the most compelling advantages of Starship for the military is its ability to transport large volumes of supplies, equipment, and personnel anywhere on the globe in less than an hour. This rapid transportation could have a profound impact on military logistics, enabling faster deployment of forces and critical resources in times of crisis. For example, Starship could be used to move essential cargo to remote areas or deliver heavy equipment in a single streamlined launch, eliminating the need for multiple trips and saving valuable time. In addition to logistics, Starship's massive payload capacity makes it ideal for satellite deployment. The military could leverage Starship's ability to launch entire constellations of satellites at once, enhancing communication and surveillance capabilities in space. During times of conflict, Starship could play a critical role in quickly replacing damaged satellites or expanding operational fleets, ensuring uninterrupted satellite coverage for the military. These factors combine speed, payload capacity, and reusability make Starship a game-changing weapon for the DoD as it seeks to enhance its capabilities in space. SpaceX has made a substantial financial commitment to the development of Starship with $3 billion already invested. This funding has been used for research and development, production of multiple prototypes, testing, and the construction of the necessary launch infrastructure. As Starship continues to evolve and prep for operational flights, estimates suggest that the total cost of its development could get to as high as $10 billion. SpaceX has largely funded Starship's program through its existing revenue streams, including commercial launches and both private and government contracts. The company's successful Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets have been a key source of income, allowing SpaceX to reinvest earnings into the development of the more advanced Starship project. 
Additionally, contracts with the government, particularly the Department of Defense, have given crucial funding for SpaceX's programs, especially as the military seeks to integrate Starship into operations for rapid transport and satellite deployment. It's clear that SpaceX is now a valuable resource, not just for launch services, but also its recent shift towards military satellite and recon, a sector traditionally dominated by contractors like Raytheon and Northrop Grumman, as well as smaller companies like York Space Systems. This shift comes as the Pentagon and U.S. intel agencies prepare to invest billions in developing new constellations of low-Earth orbit satellites, largely in response to China's recent advancements in building its military space systems. Elon's company has proven itself as a disruptor in two rapidly growing areas of the commercial space industry, satellite launches with the Falcon rocket lineup and comms through its Starlink network, which now has over 6,400 satellites in orbit with laser-based inter-satellite communication. SpaceX's latest moves include offering the federal government what are known as satellite buses, satellite bodies without internal components which can be adapted for specific military applications. The scope of what the military can leverage from SpaceX is vast and almost limitless. Right now, we can cite a series of moves by the U.S. military that illustrate the scope that SpaceX now has as a military contractor. A year ago, Space Force, that oversees the Pentagon's efforts in orbit, opened bids using a new pathway for rocket launch companies to get a piece of its business. It was meant to encourage growth among smaller emerging companies that might offer SpaceX competition. Space Force said it would give out $5.6 billion in launch contracts through 2029. But when Space Force this month disclosed the first batch of these task orders, all nine of them, worth $733 million, had gone to SpaceX. In explaining the choice, Space Force officials noted it was the only company with a rocket ready to handle payloads. They added that other companies, including Blue Origin, could compete in the future. Within the last year, Space Force also agreed to buy up $900 million worth of communication services over the coming decade for companies that have satellites in LEO, including SpaceX and 15 other companies. Once again, SpaceX was there to reap the rewards. Within the first year of this deal, more than $500 million in spending commitments were made, much faster than expected, with a vast majority of that money going to SpaceX. Claire Hopper, chief of the Space Force's commercial satellite comms officer, said in an interview. The agency responded by increasing the cap on the contract value to $13 billion. The new line of business is the satellite bus itself, which is the spacecraft carrying sensors and other equipment that do the surveillance or targeting work, providing power to this equipment and moving the satellite to keep it in the right orbit. Other vendors typically manufacture the sensors that are placed inside the SpaceX satellites and then sold to the Pentagon. SpaceX generally no longer owns these military satellites once deployed, and access to the data they gather is tightly controlled by the government. But the company does at times play a role in the operation of the satellites themselves, Pentagon officials said. We can view this as a mutually beneficial partnership, where both SpaceX and the Pentagon stand to gain. SpaceX benefits from the security of large government contracts, while the Department of Defense gains access to cutting-edge technology and reliable launch capabilities. However, the nature of this relationship is not entirely balanced. SpaceX is likely to remain just one option among many potential clients, while for the Pentagon, SpaceX has emerged as the top, if not the only viable choice for reliable, cost-effective space solutions at this scale. Perhaps because of this, some Defense Department officials have expressed concerns about the risk of relying too heavily on just one supplier in the space industry. While SpaceX has been a remarkably dependable partner, any unforeseen disruptions in its operations could have an impact on the military's satellite and space transport needs. Officials have expressed a need to consider backup options to ensure resilience and continuity in national security missions, acknowledging the potential vulnerabilities of such concentrated reliance on just one commercial provider. As SpaceX continues innovation, the Pentagon needs to balance the advantages of this unique partnership with a strategic necessity of diversification within its critical space infrastructure. A recent Defense Science Board report on the commercial space industry highlighted this risk noting that vendor locker over-reliance on one provider can undermine market strengths, stifling innovation and driving up costs. This dependency can effectively lead to a monopoly, creating a stagnant, wasteful, and anti-competitive market environment. SpaceX's prominent role in space launches underscores these concerns. This year, when Falcon 9 rockets were grounded three times by the FAA due to minor issues, it left the Pentagon with limited options for launching medium to large payloads into space.
ULA, the other approved vendor, was still testing its new rocket at the time, meaning that the Space Force and other defense agencies had no reliable alternative. Richard Nicely, head of Space Force's commercial space office, remarked that having a major launch provider temporarily offline is definitely not a good feeling. While there are signs of growth and diversification within the commercial satellite sector, as highlighted by senior officials like the National Reconnaissance Office's Deputy Director, Troy Mank, SpaceX's scale and capabilities make it uniquely competitive in almost every major space contract. Mandy Vaughn, CEO of GXO and a Defense Science Board member, noted that SpaceX's dominance can create significant imbalances in competition, with the company having the power to warp and run the table on many launch and spacecraft bids. Additionally, there are concerns related to Elon's influence within SpaceX and his global business activities. While Pentagon officials primarily engage with Gwynne Shotwell, the COO for military and intelligence contracts, there are still underlying worries, particularly at NASA, that's given SpaceX $4.4 billion to use the Starship rocket for missions to the moon. As Starship, the largest rocket ever built, starts launching bigger satellites and reducing orbital launch costs, SpaceX could achieve even more dominance in the space market. But is this truly the case, or are these just narrow, one-sided concerns lacking sensitivity to the dynamics of the market? In reality, Starship success may have a ripple effect, inspiring other companies in the space sector to follow SpaceX's lead and push the entire industry to grow together. Competitors of SpaceX acknowledge that Elon Musk deserves credit for pioneering innovations that have dramatically reduced the cost of getting payloads to orbit. These advancements have laid the foundation for a modern commercial space industry that SpaceX now holds a dominant position in. Elon's initiatives have not just propelled SpaceX to the front of the line, but have also set new standards that other companies are still striving to meet, ultimately benefiting the industry as a whole. We can all fling arrows at SpaceX for being the 800-pound gorilla, said Adam Spice, the CFO of Rocket Lab, one of SpaceX's competitors, also speaking at the conference last week in California. But they kind of earned their way into that, right? I mean, through execution. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.